What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the health review. This week's topic, kind of a more serious issue on sexual violence. is very prevalent in our nation and unfortunately these numbers of sexual assault victims keep growing. It's reported that one in five women experience rape in their lifetime. Contrary to popular belief, women aren't the only ones that experience rape. Men are also victims of rape and sexual violence with 1 in 71 men experiencing rape in their lifetime. National estimates report that 25% of college women experience attempted or completed sexual assault during their college career. So what is sexual violence? Sexual violence is an umbrella term that includes sexual assault, sexual harassment, and any other type of unwanted sexual advance. So let's go over some examples of sexual violence, starting with catcalling. Damn, Ma, you are getting good in them jeans. Mm. Those skin tight jeans be my teenage dream. We making babies tonight. Another form of sexual violence is unwanted physical touch. to also remember that sexual violence doesn't only occur to women, but there are male victims as well. <laughs> You're so funny. Why don't we take those upstairs? You know, I've been drinking. I'm also tired. Oh, come on, be a man about it. No. Alright, so everyone lean in, because I'm going to tell you a little secret to avoid being a sexual predator. One magic word, and it is consent. Now, consent doesn't need to be this formal mumbo-jumbo thing that's overly complicated, like this example. I had a really good time tonight. Yeah, me too. Where do you think this is going? Back to my place. Okay, in that case, I'm going to need you to sign a few things. Could you uh, initial here? Uh-huh. Great, and um, state that you're willing to be a Jane, of course, here. Mm-hmm. And um, sign here. Fantastic. Thank you. Consent can actually be really simple. All it takes is open communication and clarification. Let's take a look at how consent should really go down. I had a really good time tonight. Yeah, me too. Do you maybe want to go back to my place later? Yeah, are we maybe going to have sex? I mean, if you're ready to make that next step, I'm ready to make that next step. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, awesome. So yes? Yes! 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 Means! Yes! There's a lot being done to decrease the rates of sexual violence, especially on college campuses. California has recently adopted a law titled the Yes Means Yes Law. This law requires universities to adopt a policy of affirmative consent. So rather than the definition of consent being no means no, under this new Yes Means Yes bill, consent is defined as an affirmative unambiguous and conscious decision from each party to engage in sexual activity. If you or anyone you know is a victim of sexual violence, there are resources out there to help you. If you just encountered an episode of sexual violence, immediately contact your local police department. You can find resources at your college campus as well, such as counseling services. UC Davis has a harassment and discrimination assistance and prevention program to promote a discrimination-free work and learning environment. San Diego State has counseling and psychological services, as well as a free self-defense class put on by your local police department. And if you need further assistance, please contact the National Sexual Assault Hotline. The most important thing is to get talking. If you or anyone you know has experienced sexual violence, please tell someone. Through communication and education, we can put an end to sexual violence. Thank you for taking the time to watch this more serious health review, and I'm really glad that I got a chance to address this with you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe below, and we'll see you next week. And stay crazy, San Diego!